the first new feature that we're looking at today is a very basic one. In previous versions of Revit, we had the application R button in the top left hand corner. This has now been replaced by this file tab. If you click on the file tab, you'll see we've got the same tools as what we had previously under the application R button, such as open, save and export. There is still an R in the top left hand corner. This offers basic application functionality, such as minimize, maximize and close. This is a very minor alteration, but it is a, a welcome one. It does freshen up the interface a little bit, in my opinion. Another minor but welcome addition to Revit is the print icon on the quick access toolbar. Previously, we had to go through the application R button to print. Now, it's up on the quick access toolbar. This change might save yourself a bit of time when you printed off views and drawings. The next new feature that we're looking at today is once again quite a basic one, but still very much welcomed. In previous versions of Revit, if we wish to rename sheets, we'd have a very limited amount of space if we, to review long titles or long numbers. This has now been changed with the ability to stretch out this dialog window Previously, what you may have done is had to go into a sheet list and stretch out the sheet name in here so you could view these long titles. So it does just save using this possible workaround. OK, so the next new feature that we're looking at today is with regards to reference planes within families. You can see on screen that I've got a table family. I'm just going to open that up. Right. Here we are inside of the family now. Um, you can also note, hopefully, that I've placed a couple of additional reference planes either side here, um, 800 from the edge of the table. Uh, this could be for lots of different reasons, you know, setting out purposes or something like that. Um, in my case here, I've just called these edge distance reference planes. So there's the name there, edge distance. Um, and also note there that the reference is a weak reference in this case. OK, transition back to the model. So previously in Revit, uh, we could align and dimension to and from those reference planes that we'd placed in, uh, but we didn't get all the information that would be you know, really useful to us, such as the name, uh, especially. Um, now that has changed. If I align from the edge of this wall and locate my reference plane, there we go, you can see that it does in fact now report that it is a weak reference and an edge distance. And there we go. I can align that table the uh, the specified distance that I that I want. In my opinion, this is definitely going to be a useful tool for people, uh, you know, in, with it, setting stuff up within their families so they can perform more how they would want them to form when they they bring them into Revit. 